Hello, welcome to Local 2 Midday. I'm Priscilla Riojas. At around 3.15, Sheriff's deputies were called to this house about a home invasion with shots fired. This empty space is where a beautiful lit Christmas tree would be if a Grinch hadn't stolen it. The National Science Foundation say it's important to inspire young kids to pursue jobs in science and math because 80% of the jobs in the future will be focused on science and technology. This was the office where Dr. Conrad Murray ran his practice. Now he is in L.A. on trial for involuntary manslaughter. People in the Acres home area say they are watching this trial closely, especially those who were his patients. Police say this is the stolen car the robbers used after they robbed Prosperity Bank this morning. It is still an active scene behind me as firefighters are putting out the last of a two-alarm fire. The baskets are donated by troops throughout the council and come complete with baby essentials, handmade cards, and even future Girl Scout gear. This says Eastern Conference champions, but hopefully after tonight, it says MLS champions. Reporting from downtown Houston, Priscilla Rojas, KPRC, Local 2. It's sure to be an exciting All-Star weekend, and fans wanting to find out about next year's All-Star tickets can find out after this year's 2012 All-Star game. Reporting from Toyota Center, Priscilla Rojas, 13, Eyewitness News. A Bay City mother is recovering after her husband went on a deadly rampage, killing all four of their children, shooting her, and then turning a gun on himself. No word yet on any more scheduled flights, but this is for sure the first of many flights between Houston and Cuba. Reporting from the newsroom, Priscilla Rojas, 13 Eyewitness News. Now the latest on Texas A&M search for a new head football coach. One candidate remains U of H head coach Kevin Sumlin. All right, well, that's all we have for Local 2 Midday. Thanks for joining us. I'm Priscilla Rojas. And remember, we break news on click2houston.com. At around 3.15, sheriff's deputies were called to this house about a home invasion with shots fired. A husband, a wife, and her three children were all home and sleeping when Harris County's deputies say two to four armed masked gunmen forced their way into a house along Neil Hill Road just after 3 o'clock this morning. Detectives say homeowner Jose Ion was able to grab his gun and exchange gunfire with the men, forcing them to flee. They fled after the homeowner returned fire. They fled the scene and no property was taken. I don't know if they were injured. We have been having some home invasions that we believe is the same crew. Ion received two gunshot wounds and his wife was grazed in the chest but was not seriously injured. His children were unhurt. Neighbors tell us the family has lived in the home for about a year. Kim Carlson has lived in the neighborhood for about 45 years and says she has always felt safe in her home until recently. And it hasn't always been like this. Investigators said this was the sixth home invasion in the area. You have to lock it up. You can't, you, you have to live like a prisoner. You have to, you don't have a choice. The homeowner was transported to Bentop Hospital with minor gunshot wounds to the stomach and leg, and the investigation is underway. Reporting for Northeast Harris County, Priscilla Rojas, KPRC, Local 2. This empty space is where a beautiful lit Christmas tree would be if a Grinch hadn't stolen it. Each year we have a long-standing tradition of enjoying this holiday tree and bringing the warmth of the spirit to the neighborhood, and it's gone now. They have been doing it for 20 years, just one of those little neighborhood activities that keeps this area in Montrose close knit. So it was a shock when the beautiful 10 foot Christmas tree that dozens in the community had planned to decorate Sunday disappeared. To the Grinch that took our tree, we'd like it back. If somebody needed a tree that bad, they could have come to us and we would have helped them out with that. No leads on who this Christmas tree bandit is, but the community did get some good news. The popular Greek restaurant Nico Nikos is planning to donate another tree to eventually light up Lamar Park once again. The residents say the tree decorating must go on and has some choice words for the thief that stole their Christmas tree. For those potential uh, thieves and Grinches out there, watch out. We are not going to take it. Community members are hoping to get a new tree donated and reschedule their tree lighting ceremony. Reporting from Hyde Park, Priscilla Rojas, KPRC, Local 2. A hundred students from Young Women's College Preparatory Academy will be among the hundreds participating in the Houston area and across the country in Introduce a Girl to Engineering events hosted by ExxonMobil. We're trying to inspire them and show that science and math are interesting, fun, and very relevant to our world. The event is focused on inspiring middle school girls to pursue careers in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math by allowing them to work side by side with women engineers for a day and participate in activities like building twizzer organs and marshmallow catapults that teach about engineering design and biomedical engineering. U of H professor Veronique Tran says this is a great place to see what engineers really do. 
and what we're trying to do is break down those stereotypes and really open their minds and, as to you know all the various types of engineers um, as well as to let them know that an, uh, majoring engineering in college provides a great foundation for all types of career paths. The National Science Foundation say it's important to inspire young kids to pursue jobs in science and math because 80 percent of the jobs in the future will be focused on science and technology. For some students the event has opened their eyes to a career in engineering and for others has only increased their passion for the field. I like how we're making things with the ordinary stuff that you have mm -hmm. and then how it can just make your imagination go farther than you expect it to be. Women hold only 14 percent of engineering jobs and event organizers hope to encourage students to pursue STEM-related careers and reduce the shortage of women in science and engineering careers. Priscilla Rojas, 13 Eyewitness News. The NBA announced today Houston will once again play host to the NBA All-Star Game in 2013. The 62nd All-Star Game will be played at Toyota Center on February 17th. The NBA commissioner says Houston is a spectacular sports city and is thrilled to bring the game back to Houston. NBA All-Star 2013 will be like so many of our other All-Star games, a major event that makes Houston the basketball capital of the world. Mayor Nice Parker says Houston will show NBA fans from around the world just what Houston has to offer and give fans an unforgettable time. This is another great opportunity to showcase the city of Houston. We know how to do sporting events. We, we do them over and over again and they're coming back and we're now becoming part of the regular rotation of these uh, major sporting events from uh, the major leagues. Rockets legends are also glad the All-Star Game is back in Clutch City. And have all of those wonderful, uh, you know, name, icon athletes right here in your city, well, <laughs> we'll all be in heaven on that weekend. All-Star Weekend will kick off Friday, February 15th with the league's top rookies in the NBA's Rising Stars Challenge and the all-inclusive skill showcase on Saturday. Fan favorite NBA All-Star Jam session will be held at the George R. Brown and the NBA will continue its commitment to giving back with several NBA Cares events throughout the weekend. It's sure to be an exciting All-Star weekend and fans wanting to find out about next year's All-Star tickets can find out after this year's 2012 All-Star game. Reporting from Toyota Center, Priscilla Rojas, 13 Eyewitness News.